Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today about a really useful uh, smartphone application for Android that I've been using for the last few months for uh, keeping track of medications. And it's really good, it's called MedSafe. Now, if you're trying to take a few different prescription medications, now I'm currently on a bit of a health kick. Um, I've done a couple of videos recently talking about my gallbladder surgery and all the uh, digestive issues that kicked off and I'm just really kind of determined to uh, put a dent in those at the moment. So I'm trying to get off a drug called a proton pump inhibitor, a PPI. I'm trying to make sure I take my multivitamin every single day. And uh, for that reason, I've uh, put all my medications um, that are in my medicine cabinet into this app and I'm using it to keep track of everything. Now, you can use something like this, a pill, counter the system i'm going to recommend is that you use both a pill counter and a medication tracking app now the um, advantage of doing a system like that would be that um, if you forget to take a medication or you can't remember if you took that medication and perhaps you forgot to log it in uh, medsafe maybe your phone is out of battery maybe something else happened then you can go and just check the pill box to see if physically the pill is there and likewise you can cross check in the other direction. So uh, I just think it's useful sometimes I have uh, forgotten if I took a drug and uh, some medications you really don't want to take a second one. If you're in doubt actually like one, the, one of the two uh, prescription drugs I'm currently taking is in that category. So um, I'm just gonna go and jump into the app over here. Uh, now this is the Android version that you're seeing and this is a home page that when you log in, you're going to get to. So this is actually my uh, medication log for today. You can see that I took uh, Wellbutrin at 9.26 in the morning. This is a drug that you take uh, when you get up. Um, I'm down to 20 milligrams now on my um, Eprazole, which is good. Um, and I took that at 10.22 because I took it at about 10.30 yesterday. Now, uh, you can be much, much more diligent than I am in terms, much more rigid in terms of configuring your dosages. Um, what I've done is basically set up a once daily calendar alert for myself to go into my MedSafe to see, okay, did I take one, two, three? For me right now, it's multivitamin, uh, Wellbutrin and Omeprazole. Um, and that's basically enough for me. But if you are taking a bunch of prescription drugs or a drug that you need to take at a very specific time, then all that functionality is built into the app, uh, which is great. So let me just show you a little bit of that. So um, you have here a medication manager. Now I've just kind of thrown in uh, every medication pr I've pretty much ever been prescribed and have some around my house, but I've done a couple of tweaks and uh, that's what I wanted to show in this video. So if we take amitriptyline, for instance, there's um, a, you can half a dose of amitriptyline to get 10, at least where I'm based, uh, there isn't that, uh, that dosage out of the box and there's 20. Now what I've done is actually given a name, I've named the medication with its strength. So you can see I've called this amitriptyline 10. Um, what you can do is, um, I mentioned that you can be very diligent and set yourself reminders. So if you want to take them, if you have to take the medication at a specific time, for argument's sake, 10 a.m. Uh, or even let's say 10.30, uh, if you want to just uh, scroll through this guy a little bit, uh, it's going to take a while doing this from my computer, but let's say it was, I don't know, 10.20 was your dosage time and you take one. So you can set all this. Now, another helpful thing that uh, you can do is you can configure a schedule. So let's say the doctor gives you a course of antibiotics. It's a one-time thing. So you can say, okay, I'm starting on the 30th of August and uh, I need to take the antibiotic for seven days. And what will what will happen then is MedSafe will give you reminders for seven days and after seven days, uh, it knows that you're done because you've told it you're done. Um, I've, uh, I'm just logging at the moment ongoing, uh, ongoing treatments. And uh, you can also set the recurrence cycle. So you've got a lot of options here in terms of telling uh, this, this application exactly how you take your meds. Now, there is an option for strength and you can see that I've set my strength to uh, 10 milligrams. Now the reason that I've um, also given the, I put the strength in the medication name, there is a reason, I'm just gonna show you that now. So if I go back to the home screen of uh, MedSafe over here and I want to log a dose of, uh, no, sorry, wrong button there. 
Um, if I want to see, okay, add a dough. So this is where you're supposed to go when you're logging something. So what's missing here is the strength. It doesn't come up in the site, even though that information is there. So that's why I've um, called amitriptyline 10 milligrams. I've added the 10 into the med name as well. So if I'm uh, taking different dosages, um, I can make sure that I'm logging the right one. So let's say I took uh, 10 milligrams of amitriptyline right now. Um, and I can just save that. And now if I go back to my home screen, uh, that dosage is logged at the time I'm recording this video, which is uh, 10 30 at night. Now I can also untake if I want to uh, remove that. And now it's gonna come up as a missed dose or I can also delete it. So I'm just gonna delete this dosage. So you can do pretty much everything. Now um, I've actually logged uh, supplements. Currently I'm only taking a uh, multivitamin, but if there's anything else that's really good for my stomach, uh, I would put that in here as well. Um, I even went to the extent of putting coffee into my medications list. You can see I've added coffee here, one tablespoon and half a tablespoon. And the reason for that is uh, the, the one of the drugs I'm taking or the, the main drug, uh, well, butrin, you don't really want to consume too much in the way of caffeine uh, with that drug. So therefore, I'm even putting really the only caffeinated beverage I consume, I'm putting that there. So I'm just, I just have a central source of information for really all medications I'm taking. There isn't really much else to see in the application. The only negative I'm gonna say about uh, MedSafe is it's a brilliant, brilliant uh, smartphone app. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have a cloud interface. So what I would ideally like to do and you've got updates here as well. That's the that's the last screen really to uh, to point out. A um, a really good feature would be if it had a web interface that you could log your medication uh, from the internet as well, and those two would sync. There is a premium version that what I'm using, what I've just shown you here, is the basic free version. I did try to find a uh, medication logger that had both a smartphone app and a, a web interface, and I didn't really have success but I would say that this is pretty much good enough for my needs. Sometimes uh, if my phone is out of battery or whatever, I'll write a note in my Google Calendar to enter, uh, to enter this dose into it. But uh, if you are using this, probably a good idea to make sure that your phone always has a bit of power so that you can log in your medication dosage. So that was uh, MedSafe for Android. I think it's a really, really good tool. I will put a link to it in the Play Store. And if you are taking uh, different medications, supplements, uh, this can make taking different drugs a lot safer because uh, you can set up reminders so you don't miss dosages. If you're diligent about logging everything and you will get into the habit of using this app, it's quite intuitive, uh, then that's gonna get around the problem if you forget dosages. Uh, so I'm, I feel a lot more confident taking these two different drugs uh, with this app on my side than if I didn't have it. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe for more videos about everything related to tech. Linux backups and other subjects for myself.